Hey everyone, I'm Roma Tönnesen, and welcome to Curated Conversations by Curated Today, the official podcast series of the Middle East's premier retail and consumer insights hub, Curated Today. Founded in 2020 by Judy Dagestani, Curated Today is dedicated to making insightful, high-value, industry-focused information available to you on the go. Curated Conversations extends that brand ethos, addressing real-life challenges and trending topics with some of the region's most prominent movers and shakers who share their knowledge, experiences and stories to make sure you have everything that you need to navigate the changes we face in the industry today. Real insights, real experts and real conversations. That's our promise. Prepare to be inspired. Hey everyone, welcome back to Curated Conversations by Curated Today. I'm your host, Roma Tunison. Last week, we were joined by Judy Dagestani, founder of Curated Today. In 2020, Judy launched not one, but two successful businesses amidst a pandemic and a recession. So as more and more people around the world look to launch their solo careers during these volatile times, I wanted to take the opportunity to ask Judy five pieces of advice that she would want to share with anyone looking to launch their solo career in 2021. Here's what she had to say. So I have five things in mind, just considering, you know, what I went through with a few different in- initiatives so far in 2020, the hardest year yet. Um, but first of all, the number one thing is find your niche. I always say this, but really, if you want to figure out what you're good at, but also what really drives you and motivates you, that is something that you won't have problems really growing and building. But if you're forcing yourself to do something that you're not really sure that it's needed in the market, first of all, or that you're passionate about it, just give it more time, connect with people, wait for the right time, because you don't want to just do something and waste money and time. So first is find your niche. The second thing I would say is find your team. So you could either go you know, solopreneur or you could actually get a team on board with you. But my number one thing is having really been blessed with some good teammates throughout my projects is this is what keeps you going, bouncing the right ideas, keeping each other positive and motivated during hard times, uh, being, you know, inspired by their their uh, skills and what they've accomplished. I mean, you just need the right tribe with you. So that's definitely important to be positive. The third thing I would say is love what you do. So obviously, when you wake up, have your routine, feel good, get in the groove. You never want to make your, your hobby or your passion project starting out feel like it's a tedious homework assignment. So love what you do at all times. And really think long term also. I would say the number one thing when you launch, the two things I will say is think long term because if you're going to launch thinking this is short term and I just want to have fun with it and then I'm going to forget about it or I might just like, you know, go on a different project, that's not really going to get you where you want to be. I would say think like you're going to have this for years. If you have an exit strategy, meaning you hope to be acquired one day or bought out or whatever, that's really great. But just Don't do that right away. Think about how you will be invested yourself and how you want to grow it because it's more motivating that way. At the same time, my last tip is to really experiment after you launch. So what I mean by that is it's okay if you launch a marketing campaign or if you have a website kind of format, but it doesn't work as well as you thought. It's okay to tweak things. I mean, look, we're doing that right now with Curated. We want to tweak the branding. So it's okay to do that as well because I think the only way to really know what's working and what's not is giving yourself time to do those tweaks. So obviously I like to wake up early. I like to journal. I like to think about what I want to get done that day. I mean, help myself before I get really invested and put my energy into my project to always really stay motivated. So having an early day, having my structure is great, but also learning to go with the flow because clearly we've learned that this year, everything is just happening without us really understanding what's going on. So really just going with the flow and learning to reach out when you need help, even through harder times, having the right team, having the right partners, and just be excited. I think number one is just being excited no matter how challenging it gets. So patience is key. You're in it for the long haul. Have fun with it. And it's an amazing accomplishment just starting something on your own. So just try to remember that. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, please don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a rating below. Also, make sure you head over to www.curatedtoday.com and sign up for the official Curated Today newsletter to have a timely regional insights and data delivered directly to your inbox. Thanks for tuning in.